Hey, this is Dan with emergencyfoodwarehouse.com and we're here doing another taste test. This time survival cave food and we're going to be doing their freeze-dried fruits and vegetables. Uh, what we've got here are some measured portions of both the fruits. It's basically freeze-dried bananas and strawberries. And over here we've got the freeze-dried uh, vegetables and in it are uh, dehydrated sweet corn, green peas, and carrots. Um, the fruits you just need to basically add water, let it sit for a while until they hydrate. The vegetables you actually need to cook in boiling water for up to 25 to 30 minutes or until hydrated. Um, the one thing I will point out is that each of these pouches contained a, uh, an oxygen absorber which will help for the long-term storage of the foods. Again, Survival Cave food has a storage lifespan of 25 years. Um, so we're going to come back to the, um, the taste test in a minute when we've got the water boiling and we'll, uh, we'll see you in a minute. Alright, so while we're waiting for the water to boil for the vegetables, we're going to go ahead and uh, start hydrating the fruit. I've got some nice purified clean water here and we're going to just basically pour it in and they say to cover the fruits. Um, there's no specified amount, but depending upon the, the amount of fruits you're putting in, basically cover it. And at this point, I'm just patting it down to make sure that everything is within the water. So um, we're going to let this sit for a while. I think three to five minutes, they said, until the fruits are hydrated. And then it's ready to eat. So we'll see in a couple minutes. All right, so now we've got our water boiling. I'm going to take the freeze-dried uh, vegetables and go ahead and add that into the water. I have to bring the flame down a little bit, so it doesn't overboil. But essentially, uh, this is going to take some time. The uh, vegetables will take probably 20 to 25 minutes to fully hydrate and uh, cook. So we're going to come back to that a little bit later. And as you see, we've still got our fruits here that are uh, soaking in the water. I just tried a banana a second ago and it was still a little bit crunchy, so we're going to wait a minute or two to finish up the taste test. All right, so we've got our vegetables boiling in the water, and actually if you take a look at them, they're actually starting to look a lot more like real vegetables. They were a little bit dry and crunchy looking before, but that's gonna take a little bit more time, probably another 15 minutes or so before we're ready to do that taste test. But meanwhile, we've had the fruits sitting here soaking up and hydrating in the water, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and taste it. You'll see it's very liquidy here. Um, obviously you've got two choices, you can either strain out the extra water and then just eat the fruits, but obviously in a survival situation you really don't want to waste any hydration or water, so uh, I would definitely recommend you scoop out the fruits as you need to, and you can certainly put them on a plate if you're sharing, or eat them like this, and then you've got basically fruit water, uh, fruit flavored water that I would suggest you drink to get the nutrients in you, get you the uh, water as well. So. See if I can taste these separately. A little piece of strawberry here. It's got a little banana flavor because it's been sitting in with the bananas. But tastes just like a regular strawberry. Now I'm going to do the, uh, the banana. It's actually very good. Tastes just like a banana. So again, you know, if you're just looking for some uh, some nice fruits, add a little bit of water, let it soak for a while, and uh, enjoy. All right, so we're still cooking up the veggies, but one thing I wanted to point out, um, the recommendation for two servings was about a quarter of a cup, which is really small. Um, got a quarter cup, right here and they're saying that's two servings a quarter of a cup and I didn't really believe them so I took about half the bag and I put it in and then we added double the amount of water and then uh, what's really funny is we were just noticing how basically how thick and how much vegetables are actually in here you know so the quarter cup was probably accurate because everything when it was dehydrated was so much smaller and again, what we've got here is a pot totally full of vegetables. So while your first impression may be 
that these packets don't feel very full and when they tell you how much you should measure out for a serving I guess the lesson here is believe them because the food really expands especially these vegetables really expand a lot when you start uh, hydrating them so uh, we'll come back and do the taste test in a minute but I did just want to talk to you about the quantity of food and how it looks coming out of the package all right so the vegetables are now fully cooked fully hydrated and just out of sake of convenience I'm gonna go ahead and strain these out get rid of all that water probably do that and you'll see this was about half of the uh, package and they say the package has five servings in it so if this is two and a half servings the servings are actually very hearty very large so uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of taste testing actually once I uh, get it all here into this bowl so you can see it a little bit better but again there is a lot of vegetables here and again that's only half of the packet so uh, you know half a packet you can definitely get enough servings here for everybody at the table to uh, to get a little bit of veggies on their plate so definitely a good thing we're gonna go ahead and do a little tasting now see how this goes looking a little bit hot so hopefully I don't burn myself tastes like a carrot some corn and peas here definitely not bad you get a little bit of everything on this one still pretty hot um, like my son said a minute ago when I asked him how it was he said it tastes like vegetables so I guess that's a good thing so again just wanted to really show you the outcome of the freeze to fried uh, vegetables a lot of food a whole big bowl here um, just from half of the container and again this container holds five so there's still quite a bit left of the freeze-dried stuff in here the other thing to point out it is a resealable uh, bag so you don't need to find any other place to store it in the meanwhile and then again if you're in a survival situation this can be today you can finish the rest of it up tomorrow or even a week or two from now um, that's pretty much it so I would think overall these are just components of the survival cave uh, buckets that you get, but uh, they make for a nice variety. You're not just eating only entrees. You get some fruits and veggies. Frankly, the fruits were sweet enough that it tasted almost like a dessert. So uh, absolutely recommend it. And uh, if you have any questions, get in touch with us. Phone number is on the website. Uh, like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks very much.